Research? Ain't nobody got time for that. What? What's going on, guys? Welcome back for another episode of War Eternal. All right, so we did get our university up to level seven. So now we have domestic technology, and we're going to get into that today in this episode, getting these good old research is done. All right, so that's what we're going to focus on the most today. All right, so let me see. Going on to our domestic, we have acquired technology, technological knowledge, uh, supply lines, silver. Um, silver collecting speed is going to be plus 1%. We'll go ahead and knock that out real quick. And all one good thing about this game is that whenever you do build something, it automatically alerts your alliance for help. You don't have to actually click a button that says, hey, let me ask for help. I'd rather do that, but sometimes that does this does save a little bit of time. But it does make you wonder sometimes. Hmm. Am I getting my, my help? All right, so I think I did. I think we're good so far. All right, so we do have... All of our heroes, let me see. Okay, there we go. University is done, so let's go back to the next thing here and see what we're gonna do next. So domestic is the way to go, looks like. All right, so next one is meteoric, meteoric iron production, 3%. Let's go ahead and knock that out real quick, might as well. And then we have chartered, University, technology speed, there we go. That's what we're looking for right now, technology speed. So that's going to be our researches. So that's going to make it faster for doing researches, guys. And we can't get that one until we get eight, university level eight. Um, let's see, we can't really do anything with this one. Actually, we can. Oh, we had to be university nine to get the extra March um, slot. Okay, that's fine. Either way, it's all good. Ain't mad at all. All right, so we are actually leveling up our keep right now to level eight. We're getting there. And then, let's see, it's going to eight. So we need to get our barracks and everything else leveled up as well. So courtyard's five. It's not going to hurt to level this thing up right now. Let's go ahead and get that right now. Now, since we're in a very active order, we have no issues here. We're going to grow pretty fast, and that's pretty much it. All right, so stables still got 39 minutes left on, or is that an hour 39 minutes? All right, so since we're going to do that, we're going to go ahead and also train some more. And we're going to try to even this out a little bit. So hour 39 minutes, we don't have enough resources, guys. We are hurting on resources. Ooh. So 11 minutes on that one. That kind of sucks. So we're out of food, man. However, nope, we can't, buy, can't even bring any more into the, the deal. So it looks like we need to get some of these little vents. And all the other stuff done as well. So we need to get that going here because right now we're kind of sucking. All right, so let's attack a level five bandit and then we'll go from there. So like we said, we're still going to focus on getting our researches done, but we're going to do some other knickknack paddywhacks as well. All right, and that's the only way to grow in this game as fast as you possibly can. Now, as far as making a farm account, don't know about that yet. However, I will in a future episode come up with that. Um, making a farm account. I'm pretty sure we would actually probably need at least one. I uh, haven't really decided it yet. So <clears throat> let's go look for a level 5 bandit. I think we can kill one. I haven't tried a level 5 yet. Okay, got two marches going there. Actually, one march. We could probably kill a level 4 as well. Why not? Kill level 5, level 4. And that's going to take up a lot of our endurance. But it's okay, though. It's all good. We'll get more endurance as time goes by. We just want to get some experience so we can level up our our hero, our main our main guy actually. Okay, so we're at twenty nine thousand two hundred ninety two power, which doesn't seem like a lot, it really it doesn't. But because I had to start this game late last night, and I haven't really had a chance to play much, it's all good. What? Little four Lafurry. Okay, so we did beat that thing right there. And we got some extra, let's see, we got Lord XP, one minute speed ups, 
500 hero XP and military resupply. We got those in the bag. And we're getting that bag, guys. We're getting it. All right, so what else? Your Legion has returned. And I just like the elements of this game. Let's see, we got our first time kill. This Ven Dendrarians. So we got those guys killed as well. What is this? All male lords, male bandit report. So we can kind of sort that out however we see fit. So, oh man, he's level 12. So this base looks kind of cool. We got the little podunk level 7, about to be level 8. And he's got the level 7. All right, so that's kind of okay, I suppose. All right, so our legion has returned. And I think what we're going to do... I like this little animation of going back in, but I don't think it's necessary. Research, we can't do it for another 24 seconds. We have a lot of people helping out, which is good. Man, there's no there's no excuse to not grow fast in this game. As long as you're in a good alliance. And when this game comes out in about seven days, officially, worldwide, then yeah, we're going to have a lot more people playing. All right, so definitely, this game will definitely take you all over the place. So it's going to be like one of those things where you're like, hmm... So level 8 keep, we're going to get this thing unlocked right here. Whatever that is, don't know what that is. And this one is going to be unlocked. I don't know what that is either. Alright, so that's fine. Royal Market, we have a lot of things unlocked. Got the Trading House. Let's see what that is exactly, 100%. Alright, so with that, resources such as grain, silver, and meteoric iron can be purchased at the Trading House. The price for each purchase increases incrementally. And when you uh, reach, when you reach a certain... That's weird. They didn't change that um, amount of purchases. Um, the prices stopped increasing. There's a chance for lords to purchase goods for free each day. So think about another four hours or two hours, actually. Hour and a half, two hours. We'll be able to get some more free exchanges. I think. But there's no timer on here to let you know, hey, this is it's time to go ahead and get some new free stuff, guys. So make sure we go back to that uh, free house there. Let's go ahead and heal up some troops. It's going to take us 10 minutes. Okay, the alliance has already been alerted. So we're going to go ahead and get some stuff there. But what we really need to get is some food. Right now we're really hurting on food badly. All right, so we got the bandit. We got the level up. So 18, our little guy is level 18. Or is he 19? Hmm. And we gained 40, 414 power. So we got story bounty we're going to go ahead and collect as well. So we got some gold, champion seals. 50,000 silver and 10,000 meteoric iron. But this game will get me lost. That's one thing about this game. You get lost in it for real. So I definitely need to get some food. And I don't know what I'm waiting on. So what I can probably do, because we have two marches going on right now. I think I can send one, one out to go get some food. And I can send one just to go ahead and attack stuff. Now, I don't see where we have an actual alliance. Um, like an alliance mine. I don't see that right now. But pretty much everybody in my alliance is already like above 10 which is pretty cool it means they've been playing for a little bit all right so we're gonna go ahead and occupy and we're gonna use our small march and it's gonna be a minute 28 seconds to get to that one so hopefully we can get some resources i'm tired of not having food man our troops are hungry like for real for real all right so apprentice payout let's see there's been one thing i guess these are all the events that we can do now this one is always at um advertise so let's go ahead and proceed. I think we can do that. Las Medulas. So. I guess we'll hang out here. Beat level six. Production of grain has increased, has reached 1,000 per hour. Let's proceed to that. I don't know. These recommended quests do help out, but let's see. We need to do... Can we upgrade? We can't upgrade right now. So however we can... No, we can't do anything with that. Our, our builders are busy right now. However, I can speed up, and I will. Because we need to get some more food, guys. Badly. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade our farm. And we have two different farms. And they're all different sizes for some reason. So this is eight minutes. So this will get done pretty fast. So we need to keep this going... ASAP. Rocky. Alright, so we're still 8 minutes on our research as well. So we have to can't really do much with that. So we're going to go ahead and get this stuff done. We'll be right back. Alright, so our troops are actually collecting right now. 
It's going to be an hour, 17 minutes. So that's good. So we have two marches, so it doesn't really matter. So we can keep on killing some, some mobs and whatnot. Now you can search for your fortress. You can search for, actually, that's where you're going to rally your troops, I think. Shop, farm, and fallen star mine. But let's look at these things. Not suitable target from this area. Increase to search. Okay, let's go ahead and increase. And then we have this. So I think what we can do, let's see, guidance, resource tile collections, dispatch a legion to occupy the resource tiles beyond the castle grounds to collect resources. Many factors were, will affect the collecting speed for the legion. When resources collected have reached the legion's maximum load for all of the resources have been collected, the legion will be finished collecting resources and return to the castle. You can uh, attack resource tiles occupied by lords from other orders. The victor will occupy the resource tiles and the loser will be sent back to their home. Okay, so that's fine. So doing other searches, we can do the we can look for farms, fallen star mine. I don't know what that is exactly. Go ahead and get the max. Fallen star mine. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay. Got it. Fortress, I think this is the one we're gonna actually rally with our alliance. Bleak Tower. Um, yeah, we have to rally this one right here. So we can't do this one solo. Slay the bandits and take the fortress. Nice. All right, so what I need to also do is level up some of these little heroes because we haven't really been doing that much. Well, actually, yeah, we have. I'm not gonna lie. Let's say we haven't been doing it. We've been doing it. Now we haven't started up any guys. We haven't started up anybody. However, we're gonna go ahead and knock that out right now. So we don't have that many tomes. Your little books, experience books, we don't have very many. Let's put our finger down on it. We have 46 left. So we'll possibly get this one to 21. Now there's an easier way, I'm sure. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's the easy way. All right, so we get these hero, either hero XPs from the bandits, of course. And now we're out, out of books. So yeah, we need to go ahead and fight a few of these bandits right here. So let's go ahead and knock out some level fives, I suppose. Sixes, okay, let's go for a six. We're gonna try our limit. We have one legion left. And then we're good. Now, let me look at these other things here as well. Let me see. It looks like the game froze. We'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up. So we're gonna help some alliance members there as well. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode, hopefully it was a little bit informative to you. If it was, go ahead and smash that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you have not. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace out. Love you all.